to meditation, he used to contemplate on several questions related to the spiritual world. One day he thought, what is the most essential thing that is necessary for the existence of all living beings in general and man in particular? He thought for a while on this vital question. He thought within himself, self-inquiry. It must be food, unknown. So he decided, man lives, he grows and works only because of food. The most essential thing for life is food. Uh, so he concluded, Brahm, food is Brahman. His way of arrived at conclusion. So he ran to his father and said, Oh father, I know what is Brahman. <coughs> Put this Brahman. As if he is disclosing the most fantastic truth. But Varuna replied with a smile, My child, Food is not number. No. Go. Make it again. So the son had to go back to the forest again and had to continue tapas for some time more. Then he thought, food may be essential, but unless there is energy, how can the food be digested? What is that energy? So he concluded it must be prana, vital air. So he corrected himself. Prana is Brahman. He rushed to his father. Oh father, now I have realized. Now I have come to know what is Brahman. It is prana. Prana is Brahman. Again the father smiled and said, My son, go. Wait it again. Still you have to explore. Prana is not Brahman. He was startled. What? So my inquiry is not complete. My truth, my realization of truth is not. Absolute. So he went and continued his meditation. Then he began to analyze himself in the mind. Well, food is essential. Prana is essential. Both are essential. But what is more essential than these two? He began to explore. Unless one has desire to live and to eat of whatever is food and prana. So, the seat of desire is mind. So, Manas is Brahman. 